my very first game of paintball, and I got you right where I want you. Prepare to eat paint. Uh, Tyler? Behind you? Uh-oh. Right. That's it. Payback time. One minute, a steaming pile of junk. The next, a plane, a train, or an automobile. And today, a twin set of terrifying tanks. And this is Combat Central. It'll be tank versus tank in a paint-splattered battle to the finish as we ask the teams to create armored vehicles that can maneuver around this arena and then fire paintballs with deadly accuracy. Each tank will have only one vulnerable spot. If the other team hits it, it's hasta la vista, baby. In the blue corner, the wannabe warriors are Bronx Bravest, three fearless firefighters from New York City. I'm Gene. I'm Skip. I'm Murph. We're all New York City firefighters in line of company 4-7 in the Bronx. We chose Gene to be our captain because he's going to be a great captain. I got to keep the guys focused on this job, the tasks in hand. We're going to get it done, and we're going to get it done well. We have a toolbox on wheels. It's called our fire truck. What we don't have on that rig, we'll improvise. I think that's very similar to what we're going to have to do on the junkyard. Murph, uh, he's our guy, but he's great at everything. The reason why we're going to win on junkyard was because we're like a team like this, all three together. We're the Bronx Bravest. Keeping them on target is mad tanker Paul Horde. He spends his weekends causing destruction with his mighty paintball tank, the War Wagon. For Paul, bigger is definitely better. And it's truly the battle of the Big Apple. The Brooklyn Benders are three bohemian artists from the other end of the New York subway line. So paint is their business. I'm E-Rock. I'm Hackett. I'm Heather. As the captain of the team, I'll be responsible for coordinating all of our efforts. E-Rock will be an excellent captain. He's very good at looking at a whole system of a thing. Heather is an excellent scavenger. My secret talent is that I find stuff. And we have years of practice of taking junk and turning it into art and turning it into working machines. We're the Brooklyn Benders! Helping them aim the paint is brave Bill Tyson. Bill's golf cart tank may be small, but it's deadly. It can shoot 900 paintballs a minute. And there are old scores to settle. The two experts are fierce rivals and veterans of many shootouts. Bill is usually the victor and Paul the vanquished. So Paul is eager for some payback. <laughs> Brooklyn Benders! Yeah! Bronx Bravest! Yeah! Teams, allow me to introduce you to the Mark I paintball. All right! Oh, yeah. This is your ammunition, a perfectly formed sphere manufactured to splatter paint all over your enemies. Yeah. And I think you know by now who your enemies are. Yeah. <laughs> your challenge is to build powerful paintball firing tanks so you can take on your opponents in a head-to-head -head Paintball busting splatter fest. At stake is that elusive place in the semifinals. So, teams, you have 10 hours from the time that our mighty car crusher crashes. Oh, oh that was great. Paintball tank. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to crush them with this paintball cannon tank that we're making. Paul, you're our expert. What kind of vehicles should we make here? Uh, since there's going to be four of us, we need to make sure we have something that can carry all four of us. We'll find a vehicle. Now, for cannons, we'll go with inch and a half barrel. The Bronx Bravest are hoping to find a big, beefy van. Its engine can power a compressor to pump air into a tank. If they can find the right bits, they'll make cannons from metal pipes and plumbing parts and mount one on the roof and two on the sides. They should be able to shoot round after round of paintballs in all directions, if they don't run out of air. All right, so here's the deal. Murph, you're in charge of the vehicle. Skip, 
you got to get the plumbing, PVC, okay. anything we need there. And Paul and I got to sit back and relax for a while. Ah! Okay. Right. <laughs> what are we going to use for a tank? I love golf carts. They're small, they carry four people, and they can go anywhere. The Brooklyn Benders are hoping to find an electric golf cart, light and easy to maneuver. They're planning to use carbon dioxide fire extinguishers and connect them to two PVC tubing weapons. They should be accurate and deadly as long as there are no leaks. What kind of batteries do we want to look for first? The big golf cart batteries. Just the big ones? The big okay. ones, yeah. They're six volt each. We're going to need PVC as much PVC in different sizes as we can so we have stuff to work with. Any kind of reducers, any kind of couplings you can find out there. Uh, valves also are going to be important. The other stuff we'll be able to scavenge as we go. Ready Murph? I'm ready. You're going for the right, vehicle. Skip the plumbing. Ready? Let's, let's go, go guys. Right. Go yeah, get him. Let's go. Let's go. Right. Go, go, go. Go get him, guys. Do you shoot one of these at a time or do you shoot a whole bunch of them? Oh, you shoot a whole bunch. Oh, you okay. shoot a ton. Well, at okay. Once. See, that's a typical guy. Instead of doing <laughs> one thing accurately and well, you're just going to lay it all out there. You shoot a lot of them at once <laughs> and you, you make maximum damage. But they only have one vulnerable spot, so you gotta hit it. And what's your vulnerable spot? Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> they do hurt. War has been declared in the junkyard. They've got only 10 hours to get their machines armed, armored, and battle ready. All right, I'm looking for the pipe. What do you have? Well, I have screen. Just found screen, so we have a little place where we can uh, see out and pummel those wuss firefighters <laughs> a little bit. Now that's what we're looking for. Skip, we need more PVC. So, have you figured out a good way, though, to get the uh, paintballs to go far and fast? Well, our expert seems to have, seem uh, pretty confident in his plan. More junk, more junk. We need more stuff. I got one nice, good, long length of PVC, still looking for more. Take that. It's a crucial time for both teams as they try to get the best bits for their build. Will the firemen hose down the Brooklynites? Or will the boys from the Bronx get painted into a corner? Keep watching. Teams of Gotham gladiators are preparing to do battle by building paintball tanks from junk. Something up! Got it. All right. Sure. In Midnight Blue are the Bronx Bravest, three of New York's finest firefighters. They're going for a big, heavy tank, and this old plumber's van could provide them with all the muscle they need. In Canary Yellow, New York artists, the Brooklyn Benders, are going for small and nimble, but they're no lightweights. All right, I've got a cart out here. It's got all four wheels on it. Bill, Package just found our cart. Did he? Yeah. The engine looks kind of screwed. That's all right. Get, get the tank in. Call us if you need help. This golf cart looks like it's seen a few more than 18 holes. Look what we found. What yeah, man. Found? All right. Okay. Bronx Bravest Murph is just getting started. It looks like this isn't the first time he's had to hotwire a car. So try to sit home, kids. All right, ready to rock. That's my boy Mark, huh? Didn't get anything going. Woo! Now, bring it on in. Bring it on in. <laughs> All right! Good. Oh, oh. Good. We can this steal anything nothing. in 10 seconds! This is Let's get all the plumbing, all of the uh, fittings. Like right, here's a here's a T. And there's a pleasant surprise. The previous owner thoughtfully left his tools of the trade in the back. All they need to flush the benders down the Batteries. toilet. No good. Okay. These batteries toast. Uh, some of them are. <laughs> Those two. The Brooklyn Bender's dexterous little golf cart should be the perfect David against the Bronx bravest Goliath of a van. That is, if these anarchists can get organized. All right, we're in with the Brooklyn Benders. Whoa, who's Bill here? and E Rock. Hey, man, how are you? Good, good. Looking good. good. What's up, Tyler? Not too much. Now, what's your idea? What's what's the whole plan? Build a small tank like this. It carries four people. Okay. Cover it over with a hard surface and an open area screen surface, so you can see where you're going. Oh, so that's gonna, the screen is gonna be instead of having like a window or something yeah, like that. Yeah, you bet, so, you bet. Okay. The benders plan to install two cannons in their golf cart. One at the front to fire forward and a second rotating on top so they can cover all angles. Both will be fueled by carbon dioxide gas from fire extinguishers, but they'll only be able to fire a few paintballs at a time as they'll need to keep recharging the guns. 
They'll have range and accuracy if they can just get their cart moving. Now, is this piece of crap actually going to run? Because it looks I don't know. terrible. <laughs> the body looks good. The engine, we have no idea because we don't have, we got to get 36 volts into it. Right. So they're out scavenging batteries for us. The tank idea, I understand what you're going for that. Now, what about the actual barrel of our cannon that's going to be attached to the uh, tank? That's the best part. Okay. One and a half inch diameter inside. Okay. Bolt action. Nice. Little cartridges that hold 15 to 30 balls a piece. Oh, Open yeah. the bolt. Pop one in, close the bolt, boom, you're so, done. So don't go with the, uh, like, you're not just going to shoot one paintball at a time. It's got to be, you've got to, so. like, totally no, max it out. Absolutely. No, no, no. Okay. No. Just looking at what you've got, what you're getting out of the yard. I mean, do you feel like, yeah, okay, this I is going to go out. together? Well, we just yeah, went out. We just, yeah, yeah, we're better now. <laughs> <laughs> why, why did it just go? Oh, they've got another golf cart. It's yeah! another golf cart. Well. Wow. Okay, have you seen what they have? They got a golf cart. Mickey Mouse thing. What are they? I mean, this is. does this look like a country yeah. club? No. I mean, they're on vacation, not war. Right. We have a tank. We've got a tank. We've got a real vehicle. The Bravest plan to drive a compressor from the van's motor to pump air into a big tank. It'll be connected to three guns made out of metal plumbing pipes. They'll mount one on the roof and two on the sides. The firemen's guns will have high volume and high pressure, just like the blast from their fire hoses. But like most things in life, it's all about connections. Biggest thing is probably having the proper valving to open up. We've got half inch valves, which do not allow enough air flow to go through an inch and a half barrel. Right. Uh, we do have one one inch valve, which will be good for us to use. Uh, that will work as a, as a good cannon. Well, or how many cannons are you building and how many paintballs is it going to shoot at that? As many as possible, 20 to 30 at a time. Brooklyn scavenger Heather still hasn't found enough fittings to furnish their first gun. Hey, what are you doing in there? Hey. What are you doing in there? Hey. Hey, out of here. Are you kidding me? You know, Tyler, it looks to me like <laughs> Bronx Bravest are in a little bit of a better mood. Yeah, well, they've actually <laughs> got something to work with as opposed to the benders here. Brooklyn benders, are, they're so frustrated. They've got all these golf carts yeah. and nothing's working. Uh, Batteries aren't working. Uh, I mean, they've got a lot, a lot of little bits and bobs, pieces right. that are actually going to, you know, come together and make the actual cannon for right. the tank itself. But the actual tank they're going to yeah, use to move. Okay, can nothing. we just time out for a second? It's a golf cart. You know, the best thing that I heard so far from what? the benders, the Brooklyn benders, told me that if this fails, that doesn't work out, uh -huh. they're going to use Fred Flintstone power. <laughs> they're going to actually just cut a hole through the bottom of the thing. That's not a bad idea. And just run, you know, and then the brakes will be like. Arr! The bravest are going great guns. Captain Jean's cutting a space for their turret, and expert Paul started assembling their cannon. Watch out down below. All right. All's fair in love and junkyard war. What are you looking for? You know, stuff, things. Heather and Hackett perform a perfect pick and roll. Heather sets the pick, and Hackett rolls away with the good parts. All right, see you guys later. This one's reading seven. But crime doesn't always pay, and Hackett is getting desperate. Should I start working or we start working on plan B for automotion, automation, for moving? Give me about 15 more minutes. Okay. Real tanks that protect from more than just paint marks were invented by the British during the First World War. The sport of paintball got started in the early 1980s when weekend military enthusiasts headed to the hills to take out their aggression. Paintballs were safer than real shells, and today it's a huge sport. Joe Tipman is with Tipman Pneumatics, one of the biggest makers of paintball guns in the world. Good, man. How about yourself? Great. Doing Welcome great. to the throne. Thank you. We overlook the entire working area. Yeah, it's great. Let's take a look at the, the, the two design ideas, like right off the bat. We've got two radically different looks, I think. Right. And the Bronx Bravest has something that's uh, big. Well, big and nasty, which I think is, is the way to go. Tell right. me about their idea. Their idea is probably accuracy by volume. They're looking for a large mass and high volume of paint. The, what concerns me is if it's that big, how much air will they need? Okay, so the concern then is that there's not going to be enough to 
to punch, punch that out and right. give it enough velocity to actually hit the hit the target. Exactly. Okay. What about uh, the Tiger Woods fan club over here at the uh, Brooklyn Benders? They got Brooklyn golf ben carts yeah. all over the place. They're uh, definitely going for the speed and accuracy. They have a smaller volume of paint, but a smaller vehicle to move around and probably get more shots off. At this point, just based on what you've got, from what you've seen, who's your money on? Who's going to win this thing? Right now, I'd have to go with the fireman. So you go with Bronx Brave? I definitely do. It's crisis time for the Brooklyn Benders. Captain e reaching the end of his rope. So the deal is I'm seeing no activity on this thing at all. And out in the yard, Heather and Hackett are plotting mutiny. So I'm giving him like 15 minutes in which we will scrounge, and then after that, it's time for a plan B. And uh, Barney Rebel, baby. Uh huh. <laughs> or bicycle, if we can do like some kind of rickshaw type thing. From the looks on your faces, I'm guessing there's nothing more frustrating for you than a, a junky golf cart that just <laughs> doesn't do anything. What's, what's going on? You're looking at it like. Well, we have a whole pile of batteries. Unfortunately, they're all dead. <laughs> Uh, what's the solution to that problem? Yeah. Charge them up or find new ones? Well, if you got any ideas, we're open for <laughs> testing. <laughs> Teflon. Well, we'll be on Teflon tape. Um, this guy. Here, I'm getting it for you. There you yeah. go. You need those. And Hackett's on the make again, well behind enemy lines. He's using the old five-finger discount on some of the fireman's parts. This prompts expert Paul to lodge an official complaint with his rival, Bill. You have no idea. Did you send him over there? Uh, he's looking for parts. Is he, is he a lost puppy or what? No, he's looking for parts. We need parts. You got any parts? <sighs> Heather's resorted to flirting with the opposition. Where did you go with all the uh, the plumbing fixtures there? What plumbing fixtures? In, in the van, the, the plumbing van that you took off with? with all the. Uh... We got to run it. There's no plumbing fixtures on a golf cart. Sweetheart. <laughs> Maybe golf clubs. I know. Where's all the stuff in there? But Bronx Bravest aren't taking the bait. You can still join our team. You can still join our team. It's not you too late. You want to trade? Come on. We'll take you on the road. What do you need? What do you need? We'll trade. Forget about the hippies. I, need, uh, uh, I guess about the hippies. Oh, Forget they, about the hippies. They die if they heard you saying that. Oh, good. Uh, <laughs> Bronx Bravest don't need any new recruits. Expert Paul is firing ahead with their first gun, but he's about to be rudely interrupted. Whoa, we hey, got a hole hey. at the top of this thing. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Wow. This is looking good. This is looking good. You want to still want to join our team? Huh? It's not too late. Do what? It's not too late to defect and join the winning team. <laughs> defect? What are you using that for? All right, oh. Bill, I hate to say yeah. this, but you're not in a oh. blue uniform. What are you doing over here? <laughs> <laughs> what did you come over here to, to get here? What are you looking for? I'm looking for the parts we can't find. Uh-huh. You know, I like to build a small cannon. Just, just one. Right. And, Paul, are you really going to help him out? Go See, right. when you're the king of the hill, you help the underlings. <laughs> okay. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to let you keep cheating. I mean, oh. help. Take it easy. <laughs> she is tough. <laughs> no, it's just you're just losing. <laughs> While Bill is begging for scraps, the Bronx pull even further ahead. Skip finds an air tank. Perfect for their cannon. One, two, three. That's perfect. We juice that baby up. We're good for the whole battle. Oh, Bigger, this is the find of the day. Bigger is better. They're going to love this. <laughs> <laughs> the benders have a glimmer of hope as Hackett stumbles on some key pieces. Hey, do we need CO2 fire extinguishers? Yeah, C CO2. CO2 only. CO2 only, you know. But the benders are still lagging behind, and what they really need are batteries if Bill's going to avoid a whipping from his rival Paul. So would you say in the last hour, though, you, you guys seem to have made some progress? Well, over the last hour, what we have done is we're just kicking Bill's pants. It's kind of a <laughs> shame. I really... Do y'all like to see a test? Absolutely. So, let's see if this works. Hey, men in blue! Look at, did you look at that little All one? All right, boys. Look at this. Y'all want to see how this thing works? Yes, I'd love right. it. All righty. Okay, y'all ready? Oh! 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 Woo did you see that, Brooklyn? You guys are going to look... <laughs> no! It doesn't work! Hey. Shot a sawzall. Look! <laughs> We're halfway there. All right. So, while the bravest are packing heat, the benders are just hoping they won't be sent home packing. Ben, I think we got more electrical problems yeah, I agree. than just that. Attention teams, it would appear the sixth hour is in the clutches of the time spider. <laughs> Six hours, we're doing good. You know what, we gotta step it up. 
Their rivals, the Brooklyn Benders, have gone through a whole fleet of golf carts. But without one that works, it's their chances that are fleeting. What's going on there? We got something. We got clicking. All right. Let's try Check that again. Let's try this. All right, Dalvin. We got it. We're done it. Yes. Yes. You're turning? Yes, it is. We have our cart. What did you do uh, to get the cart up and running? Was it a, a case of oh, just we, charging the batteries and stuff? Or? No, we hooked up the last wire that needed to be hooked up. That was the same. We just ignored it. it was like, yeah, we just plugged it in. Oh, yeah, this is, we couldn't need all these wires, could it? No. <laughs> Let's talk about the actual thing that's going to be firing your, uh, your paintball. See, we have uh, all sorts of assorted sizes of fittings and pipes, and no two seem to go together. Right. So somewhere out there in that vast wasteland of junk, uh, is uh, the perfect set of fittings that we need. Right. I was going to ask Bill, I mean, are you, does that concern you I mean, right now? I mean, you're not finding the, the pieces of pipe that's... Yeah, it always concerns me when you can't find what you need. Yeah. But I still got the best scroungers in, this, in the whole place right. out there working, so yeah. they'll find it. Hackett's got something. Uh, and it's a Hackett piece of rusty a... metal. Oh, sweet. He is yes. on a plan B. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> okay. I think that's a few things they need. Time to feed another fly to the time, spider teams. Five hours. This is your five-hour time check. <laughs> well, see, so you, uh, you, you're, you're Expert cheating. Expert Bill pays another visit to his old pal. No, no, this time, he must have followed his nose because something <laughs> smells fishy. So what do you need? Uh, I was just wondering, what, what do you have that you're not no, going no, to no, be no. using? What do you need? Oh, what? There they are! What? They're all down there! You saw my gun! You have been hiding! So what's the point? Ah! Ah! <laughs> so Look at all that good stuff. So you want this? Yes. Okay. What else? The benders are now within striking distance, but it's the bravest who strike gold in the yard yet again. This time in the form of a compressor from a truck's air conditioning unit. Skip, this is a great find over here, this compressor. Right. This might just save the day, pal. Okay, hang on, I'll get you that sauce. Go ahead. I mean the, the Bronx uh, Bravest are inspecting their gun turret. What I'm thinking is hanging the expansion chamber this way. Okay. We'll just lay, the lay that way. And Over in the turret. Brooklyn Build Bay, uh, they're off to the races. Um, here's the plan. We need uh, two guns being built now, and we need this thing being framed out. Okay. That's the theory of this gun, is just... Spew it out. Spew. It's a spew gun. The Bronx Bravest are working like a well-oiled machine. Paul is stockpiling more weapons. Gene is happily assembling the gun turret. And Murph cool. is installing the air compressor. So, it's turning into quite the juicy battle of the Big Apple. The question is, will the Bender's wussy little golf cart be able to take a bite? out of the firefighters, or will the boys from the Bronx be able to make the Bender's pips squeak? Stick around and find out. Teams from New York are battling to create combat tanks from scrap in just 10 hours. Now, as you can see behind me, the blue team, Bronx Bravest, have already had a very successful test firing. All right, uh, Gene. There you are. So, we've got, uh, basically, you're building your turret now? Yes, we are. We just welded a long shaft on here just to get it together. Now we'll have to drop it down because the gun will actually be mounted on here. Okay. Okay, so we have to drop it down just like in the movies. It's going to be like a machine gun. I saw the test fire, so obviously you feel pretty confident now, huh? Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Uh, we have about three, four guns built now. We have the, the bigger one that you saw to right. shoot, and uh, Paul built about two or three other small ones, hand ones, that we're going to shoot out the side of the vehicle. This one right here will take them out. <laughs> They've got their expansion chamber, they've got their cannon, they've got their turret. What about the Brooklyn Benders, though? Uh, I'm, I'm sensing not so much confidence. They're in a little bit of trouble right yeah. now. They, uh, I think they finally got all their components, and they're now trying to put it together. What I'm really thinking is that they're, they might run into problems when uh, you know, they're using hoses and clamps for potential leaks, mm -hmm. bursts, whereas the Fireboys, they, they welded shut everything, <laughs> everything. <laughs> I mean, it is sealed. If there's a place to leak, weld it. Tested that, no leaks, and it, you know, it's, I, I hope for the, you know, the artists to come through. In your opinion, do the, do the Brooklyn Benders have to do, what do they have to do to get over that home and get it finished? 
they have to cut down on some of their ideas. I don't know if they'll get to a couple of guns that they wanted, you know, just go for the one, get it going, and then maybe if you have the luxury and the time, go for the second. But the benders aren't abandoning anything at the moment. Got enough thread in there. We need an axe, baby. We're not used the to arms race like is on. The firemen demonstrate how to clean out your car. New York style, baby. Four hours remaining, teams. Four hours. Four hours, plenty of time. We got it. Is this gun number one, or is this number two, backup? Or? Uh, we have gun number one and gun number A. Basically, they're both, <laughs> okay. they're both backups for each other. It's right. whatever works, works. What makes you think that it's this is the design that's that's going to win? Like it's going to make all the difference? Uh, arrogance. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, guys. Look at this manifold this guy found. This exhaust manifold will allow the Bravest to divert air to fire three cannons. That's if they have enough airflow. There's only one way to find out: pressurize their reservoir. We're up to 80, 85. We're up to. Almost 90 pounds right now, Gino. Awesome. What do you want to get? About 120? 120. That's it. That's our uh, objective. Their compressor is driven by the van's motor. It'll pump air into the huge air tank, which is connected to the manifold, sending a steady airflow to the bravest three guns. Lucky for the firemen, they're used to high pressure situations. Then we get to 120. We'll just shut the, shut the switch off. We'll keep it around 120. Awesome, babe. Over in Brooklyn, Heather's connecting up their gun. Mmm, homemade hose clamp. Hackett is on the frame, and Bill is priming the cannon. Hey, Bill, looks yeah. like we actually have something here. Yeah, man. <laughs> what, what, do, what do we got? We've, obviously, it's, it's our, our cannon, but uh, just explain all the, like, the components that we've got. We've got a, just a barrel here that we made out of a piece of pipe and a vertical feed. And the balls just drop in there. So just gravity. Absolutely. Gravity. Just fall right in, just like they do on a regular paintball marker. A carbon dioxide fire extinguisher will supply gas for their gun, pressurizing a propane tank reservoir. But it's got a major disadvantage. Whenever the reservoir runs low, they'll need time to refill it with CO2. If they run out of gas, they could be sitting ducks. <laughs> well, are we close to firing this thing? Uh, it looks we, like it. Yeah, we're ready to go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah! yeah. It's oh, snowing. God. It's Christmas, folks. There we go. Yeah! We got one. The firemen are all over their tank. Guns at the ready. Okay, we'll make it. We'll make it. <laughs> the artists are finally back in the frame and are preparing to fire. Yeah, but you can know, it's, it's going to be more of a tank doing the uh, the aiming. Come on, guys. Come here, right now. Come out. Let's go. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. That's what you want to do. Give me some. <laughs> Attention, teams. The time spider's belly is looking awfully full, but there's always room for one more hour. Oh, man, we got to hustle. We got to step it up. What do you got, clamps? What do you got for me? In Brooklyn, they go nowhere without backup. Plan A. What is that? What is that for? Boarding hook. So when we get up close to them, just <laughs> hold on. Or plan B. They're quite flexible. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's a little Some wimpy, but broke. I think it's pretty good. All right, how about reloading? Reloading, boom, we drop it. Reload, out. Unbelievable. Oof. Bam. All right. Both teams will do anything to make this a cage match. Oh, oh right there. And I'll get something right there in the middle. It's a perfect fit. To the untrained eye, a bicycle. But in the mind of an artist, the perfect gun mount. Hey, Murph. Hey, how you doing? Time is uh, drawing very near I now. Know, can you tell me what you have here? What have you got on your machine? We've got a mobile assault vehicle. 
<laughs> Dude, you're not mincing words, are you? No, it is, it's good. It, it, actually, it's really, really turning out good. Okay. All the guns work good. Paul did an excellent job. How many cannons do you have? We have uh, actually one cannon. And then you have a couple other in the, others in the back, right? We have two and one on the top. So That's the big gun on the top. That we can put. How many rounds are going to go in there, Paul? 30. 30 in one shot. Wow. Joe, who's got the edge as far as, say, maneuverability goes between these two? Definitely things? goes to the benders. Who's got the firepower advantage? The, the bravest have it. They really? Have it. Yeah. They have the firepower with mass. Yeah. yeah. What about who could actually get hit through the kind of armory that the, these two teams have got around their, their vehicles? Ironically, the benders have a better armor because they, uh, they totally encapsulated themselves. I do want to know, at this point, my bet, Before we go into the big thing. My bet is Where's still. Oh, still. With the fireman. Really? Yeah. Just cut one big hole out of it, and we can weld it right. Just tack it right on here. Yeah, just hit it above the orange box. Everybody stand back. Let's uh, see what. Man, that's, that's killer. Oh, that's killer. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Teams, I was feeling a little peckish, so I had to eat Tyler. So, this is your 30-minute time check. 30 minutes. All right. Yes. <gasps> Aluminum. Arrgh. Oh, so <laughs> yeah, really. Stick. <laughs> Teams, this is your five minute time check. Five, five minutes. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> this is when. And E Rock has a final backup. If you can't beat him, poke him with a stick. <laughs> Mythical plan E. <laughs> <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, tools down, team! Yeah! Hey! Hey! Give yourselves a hand! Yeah! You guys deserve it! What a great day of building! Now it's time to get some rest and have technicolor dreams because tomorrow. We go to war. Well done. It came together, guys. Done. It came together. Now we drink. <laughs> so, will the Bronx Bravest huge tank deliver enough air to power their three guns and blast the opposition out of the competition? Or will the Brooklyn Benders golf cart mounted with two guns fueled by carbon dioxide fire extinguishers run rings around their opponents? Our two New York teams have spent the last 10 hours building paintball tanks out of junk. Now it's time for some Bronx Brooklyn bloodletting as they battle it out to see who's going through to the semifinals. As usual, we've allowed the teams one hour of tinkering time. That's better. We got breaks now. Lift the gun up towards me. We're time's almost up. The rules of engagement are simple. It's the best of three head-to-head -head battles. Each tank will have one vulnerable spot marked with a target like this. One hit on target, and it's game over. Thing is, the battles will get progressively harder because the targets will get smaller and smaller each time. OK, guys, I'm going to leave a little spot of uh, duct tape over the end that you pull. Bronx Bravest, it's almost time to get to it. So uh, tell me about the cannons. Everything working? Working pretty good. Yeah. Uh, we did a test fire this morning, just a few minutes ago. How's that look? That's a good pattern. We shot <laughs> 10 balls, and that looks good. Uh, those guys are in trouble. So now, Murph, I know you've done some demolition driving, right? Paul here is a veteran at this kind of thing. What has he taught you about how you guys should uh, basically attack this course? Well, I think we're going to have to try it again from the back. That seems like their weak spot. And then as soon as we get behind them, I'm going to pan to the right or pan to the left so we can, get, we can use the turret and also use the side uh, cannons at the same time. So it should work out good. But pretty much, if he's, in the, if he's a tank commander, whoever's on top is a tank commander, we're going to switch it up. They call the shots. Yep. That's where we turn. Good luck. Thanks. Get to it. Guys. Hello. Hi. So um, you're putting on, what are these, racing stripes? Yeah, you can call them that. <laughs> this is actually on uh, the New York City Fire Department rigs. They have stripe. Ver yeah, very wide yellow and white striping. They can't hear us right now, so you can tell me if you have any vulnerable spots. Anything you're a little worried about out there? Not a thing. Really? Not a thing. We're, we're going to crush them. Ah, 
Ah, I love a confident man. Skip, you agree? Ah, uh, no problem. No, no worries? Uh, not one. Put some benders in the right way over the head. Okay. <laughs> What's your strategy for the game? Get behind Paul and shooting. Subterfuge. Yeah. They're all big and strong and burly. We're going to be small and sneaky like weasels. And starting positions? We've got Heather, <clears throat> Heather driving. We've got uh, Bill on the front gun. We've got me on the rear gun. We're going to be alternating. And we have Hackett on, uh, on uh, sabotage. Yeah. We should be fine. I see the tiki thing, right? And I see that you've got a hood ornament and your whole golf club thing. There's a theme going on. Have you got a name for your vehicle? Is there some sort of, you know, thematic unity go you have going on? Uh, we're the tiki tank. <laughs> you got self-tappers and washers? Belting behemoth? Joe, I've always said, and I think you'll agree with me, that the most important thing in paintball is the personal touch. And that's exactly what Bronx Bravis have here. They have made a big, beefy vehicle. They certainly have. And uh, they added more uh, armor and guns. Yeah. <laughs> the other thing is that it's such a big vehicle. This thing's going to have a hard time moving around. Especially when they lost power steering. But overall, what do you think? I still like it. I still like the yeah. cannon. I think that's what's going to pull them through. All right, here it is. The competition looking like it's straight out of Gilligan's Island. I love it. Yeah. What do you think? It looks like a little stealth bomber to me. <laughs> <laughs> You'd never know that this was a, a, once a golf cart. Yeah, it it's hidden. Great. It's definitely hidden. It's got a lot of cover, a lot of mesh. The Benders definitely have a quicker vehicle and uh, a greater turning radius, so mm -hmm. they can go around a lot quicker yeah. in this vehicle. Now, let's talk about firepower because that's what this is really all about we've got the gun in the front that's the a gun the a gun and on the top we've got another one they've even got the slingshot on they've the back they've got the c plan slingshot <laughs> are you going to go with bronx bravest or the tiki machine right here 51 percent tells me i'm going with the <laughs> cannon back there all right let's get them boys yeah let's get them B. Youngs is a world champion paintballer and makes the perfect referee. She's attaching the targets to the tanks. They've got to hit these to score. We're just about to get ready to play. What happens when somebody gets hit? That player is automatically eliminated from the game. The vehicle then has to stop, allow that player to get out of the vehicle with his hand up and walks off the game field. The walk of shame. That's right. <laughs> The arena is an oval, hair-raising obstacle course studded with abandoned vehicles and railroad ties. To get around, the teams will have to drive like New York cabbies. Look out! Guns at the ready! Bronx Bravest! Are you ready? Yeah. Brooklyn Banders, are you ready? Woo! Bronx Bravest moving right at them. They're going for it. Oh, <laughs> Bronx hit Brooklyn, but missed the target. Now it's Brooklyn's turn. And they're coming our way now. Here they come. Looks like the old Tiki Tanks having some trouble with their maneuverability. Uh, right now, it's a balance problem. <laughs> Don't turn us over. They're tilting to the right. Looks like they're heading into a standoff. Get the hand! Are you having fun yet? You got the hand! You got the hand! That's a big shot. That was a big, big shot. shot. I thought I heard the word hit there. We got his hand! We got a hit on the hand! Bill, are you pulling him out? No! Hey, Bill, I hit his hand, dude! That's all splatter! I hit him in the hand, dude. That was not spray. Hold on, hold the game, hold the game. Let me see your hand. There should be a welt, right? Bronx Bravest hit Erock's hand while it was exposed outside of the tank. Oh, here on the, on the... Yeah. yeah. Players out, players out. B is confirming hit on hand. According to the rules, Erock is out for the rest of the round. <laughs> we have got Erock, the Bender's team leader, out of the game. They had to reload, they ran out of ammo, absolutely. That's what cost them their leader. Keep blasting them, they can't see. Keep blasting them. Woo! I'm going, I'm peeling out. Move it around, move it around, move it around. It 
looks to me like a real advantage for Bronx Bravis is they got speed. It's faster, no power steering, they're gonna have problems. Ooh, I think Heather may be heading for a little love tap with the Bravis. <laughs> Okay. They just shoot us in the face. That's all they're doing. Shoot me in the face and I love it! Well, I'm gonna sit right up past them, alright? Woohoo! Fireman! They did hit him. Tyler to Karen, what happened? And yeah, what's all that steam coming? Looks like Bronx Bravis took a hit, and uh, unfortunately for the firemen, we're seeing some smoke. So the first round is over. Yeah. Brooklyn Benders, a surprising hit. Bronx Bravis, uh, they're put, they're, they're letting me down. Unreal. They're letting me down. Are you guys the blue team? No, not really. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Yeah, that's right. They, of course, are not the blue team. It's the yellow team, Brooklyn Benders, and right now they're up one to nothing. Will Bronx Bravest come back in the next round, or will it no be way. tanks for the memory? Ah! Welcome back to Junkyard Wars, where Brooklyn Benders have blown Bronx Bravest to smithereens. In the first round, Bronx Bravest had the tools, but Brooklyn Benders had the talent. The benders were right on target. <laughs> and now it gets tougher as we reduce the target size a notch. All right, teams. The score is one to nothing for the Brooklyn benders. So Bronx Bravest, you got to get a hit to stay in the game. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Same direction. Uh oh. Oh, he's coming this way. Hang on, guys. Hug it, hug it, hug it. Go ahead, get him. Oh. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, they saved yeah, themselves. Very close. They saved themselves. Right there. Hug, hard, hard, hard. Get ready, get ready to shoot. This looks like a big game of cat and mouse right yeah, now. Yeah, the, the mouse is chasing the cat. Yeah, exactly. You wouldn't have expected oh, that at all. Oh, no way. Hang on, we're going over the tracks! What? Ah! Hey! Ah, hit it. All right, stay right here. <laughs> They're right oh, up behind them. There they go. They're there right go. up behind them. A perfect chance for the benders. We can't move! Go, 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 go. Brooklyn Benders were right next to the van and they missed with their shot. <laughs> I saw that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right. Bronx Brave is getting braver by the minute. Oh, hey, Murph must have drank a lot of cough syrup in between rounds or something because oh, his driving skills have oh, decreased dramatically. The Benders have got the bravest on the Hi, run. Guys. Tyler, I think we've got a flat tire on the way. Yeah, who is that flat tire with? Bronx Bravest took a flat tire in the back right wheel. Well, what do you expect? I mean, look at the kind of driving they've been doing. Oh, crazy. They're nutty. It takes more than a flat tire to stop a New York firefighter. Get the back side, Paul, the back side. Hook it hard. There it goes, there it goes. Look at that. Taxi! The benders are hot on their trail. Not good, not good, not good. That's a buzz, that's a buzz. We didn't get hit. It's a buzz.
time for someone to swallow their pride. Yes. Thank yes, you very much. Yes. yes, yes you lose. Yes, I win. You called it. It doesn't happen very often, but I did. You finally. It. I won one. It. Finally. Yay, Yay for me. Woo! <laughs> 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 Hell of a job, Let's buddy. Let's go congratulate the other team. Yeah. Okay, team, quick, seriously. That, that was, like, unbelievable. They took a flat tire. That helped it all. But, I mean, how, how did you approach this round for, differently Brains from the first time? Brains against brawn. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never let them see our bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> Never ever there see our bottoms. Oh, great job, great job. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the public now, come on. I'm sorry that <laughs> I didn't pick you guys. I didn't think you guys could do it, but out of the blue, <laughs> you did it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Whoever had money on the yellow team, raise your hands. <laughs> all right. You guys got yeah. You guys get a round on us. <laughs> we'll be so shake out. hands and uh, come out fighting, right? Oh, all right. right. Even the old warriors make oh, peace. We couldn't have had <laughs> better teams, better. Really? Uh, man. These guys were wonderful. Your I, guys were super. I didn't want to guys. have anybody else out here with me. Thank you. As neither, did I. But neither did I. This neither was did great. I. Well, Bronx Bravest, as you know, there are no teams who lose, just teams who did not win. So this is still for you. Nice job. Thank Good you. job. Yeah. <laughs> And for every team that doesn't win, there's a team that does. And today, it's Brooklyn Benders! Yeah! So the Brooklyn Benders are on their way through to the semifinals, those big shots. And the Bronx Bravest, well, we say tanks, but no tanks. Next, we're looking at the plans to build an underground superhighway beneath the feet of Bostonians. It's extreme engineering after the break.